Yeah, real late, Hot 97, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Peter Rosenberg. Been a, I don't know, a few months now, maybe, since I brought in a uh, artist from the area who maybe a lot of people weren't yet familiar with to debut them live in studio on Real Late on Hot 97. And today we got my man, Jersey's own Mike Zombie in the building. What's happening, what's happening, what's happening? Zombie on the track. Glad to be here. It's a pleasure, man. Yes. Um, Where exactly in Jersey are you from? I am from Willingboro, New Jersey. Sorry, say it again? Willingboro, New Jersey. What is Willingboro all about? It's a small town in between Camden and Trenton, very slept on place, cardiac from there, Adam Blackstone, Ty Tribbett. A lot of people out there, and now, now me. So. What's what's it like as an area? Is it suburban, like a, a suburban small town? Is it rough? It's, is it nice? It's it's, a, it's suburban. Things happen there, but for the most part, it's for the most part, it's straight. Yeah. And how old are you? I'm 22. Just turned 22. Okay. Um, you have a project out right now. We've been playing a co- song called Six One Six, which we're gonna play in a minute. The I, banger. I love Six One Six. Yeah. It is a great song. I was very interested in you because it started from the bottom, mm-hmm. and when people told me that you rap and blah blah, blah you're, you're a producer, uh, MC, that got me excited. But then I hadn't heard any more material, and then you sent me Six One Six, and yeah. I was like, okay, boom. Yeah. Because you never know what the next thing is gonna be like. Yeah. So we'll get into Six One Six in a minute. But what project is that from, and how can people get it? That project is from the end of the beginning. It's on that piff right now. It's on SoundCloud. SoundCloud. The end of the beginning is the name of the tape. The end of the beginning. And um, it's on SoundCloud, SoundCloud slash Mike Zombie. And it's going to be up on iTunes in a few weeks, I want to say. I want to say two. Are you putting up indie on iTunes? Yes. Just on your own for now? Yes. All right, so let's let's jump right to it. How does Start It From The Bottom happen? You tell us the story because at least as far as I know, yeah. you were not on the map before that. Nah, 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 nah. Not at all. So... Um, me just doing beats in uh, college. I went to Full Sail University around like 2012. I started in 2010. I was making beats for a rapper named Hollow the Don, battle rapper. Of course. Yes, the great, the great Hollow the Don. Brother, All right. shout out to him. And um, we were cooking up on his mixtape, and uh, it was loyal to you uh, for Over Money Volume One, and we did a song called We Throw Knots on there with Jerns Black. He's locked up. Salute to him. But um, I was just sending him heat, sending him heat, and he was just doing me favors like sending my stuff to like J.R. Ryder and this person that person Corey Guns and nothing was ever catching and he would always tell me he was like yo you need to be making beats for people bigger than me and this and I'm like nah we're gonna rock out you know what I mean you're my you're my dude you're the, at, at that point I was the biggest person I'm working with so of I'm course. like I'm with it so. and he's an accomplished MC in the battle game definitely so um, one day he just called me like yo uh, you never got so I got off the phone with and I was like who he was like Drake and I'm like all right, that's what's up. And I was like, all right. And then he was like, yeah. He was like, I was I was telling him about you or whatever. And he was like, I want you to, uh, he wanted you to send some stuff through. So I sent some stuff in the beginning of 2012. Nothing happened. Then I tried in the summer. Nothing happened. Then I finally tried October 21st, 2012. Never forget the date. And then um, at like 5 o'clock in the morning, he texts me. I left my email and my information in the email. And he texts me. He was like, yo, who's Mike Zombie? I like the beats. I'm like, uh, that's me. I'm 20. At, t- at the time, I was 20. I was like, I'm 20 and just ready to work. So after that, we're like texting for two days. Call me the next day. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I want to do this. Then the third. I mean, okay. So hold on. Let's just stop. Let's stop there. Yeah. Part A of the story. What, you must be freaking out as a 20 year old kid just oh, even uh, texting uh, with Drake about <laughs> the situation. The funny part was, um, I didn't think it was him. I thought it was somebody playing with me. So I hit up Hilo. I'm like, yo, who is this person with this this number? Like saying that it's Drake, you know what I mean, or whatever. So he's just like, uh, he's like, I don't know. He texts like that, so that might be him. So I'm like, all right. So then after I got on the phone, and I was about him, to say, if you even read the number to Hollow, he probably would be like, I don't know that number because yeah. your man Drake changes numbers like every three months. Also, yeah. it could have been a different phone number. Yeah. So he was like, yeah, the way he texts me, he's like, that's him. But then after I got on the phone with him, mind you, I'm off zero sleep, like tweaking right zombie yeah basically so um he called me and um he basically told me the plan that he wanted to do get me on ovo or whatever as a producer and two months later he flew me and my mother out he made to la official. or toronto no we flew to atlanta that's when he was he was working on nothing was the same okay and um after that it's been history and i just been working so you signed with ovo mm-hmm. as a producer as a producer unsigned artist um and at that time, did he already know he wanted started from the bottom, or that came after? That was in the second email that I sent him. That was in the second email. Yeah. Not the so so not even the batch that he called you off. What of. really I think what really got him was the fact that I was sending so much music because he was like, "Yo, send whatever you have." I was like, "Are you sure?" 
because I make music fast and furious. Yeah. <laughs> so I sent a lot. And he was like, wow. It was to the point where his email was getting flooded and he had to, I had to chill for a little bit. So I think that's what got him. Okay. So um, I want to play your song, 616. Right. And then I want people to listen to this song. And then I want to come back and ask you about it because a lot of people have said that they hear a lot of you in Drake's music recently. Yeah. So I want to ask you about that next. Okay. We have Mike Zombie here, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. He reps that 609, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. Jer Jersey stand up. This joint is called 616. It is off of the tape called The End of the Beginning. The End of the Beginning. Dat Piff right now. Mike Zombie's here. It's real late. Hot 97. Monday and Tuesday a party. Wednesday and Thursday a party. Friday and Saturday, it's a party. Oh Lord, bitches, Sunday and it's still gonna be a party. 616 was just a crib and niggas dying, nigga. And in. In the line is to the drive, we just piling them in. And we know they got that skrill of $5 to get in. 100 people win the crib, we made 500 again. Whoa, 616 was weed bottle sex. Gary down the street got liquor stuck in next. And Gary used to show a nigga love. Henny for the 20, more at bottles for the dub. 616 was just a drink, the squad drank until we earl. 616 was just that place you better not dare bring your girl. Ill will, roll the weed, best believe the bitch is proud. I'm 16 and I ain't got a care in the world, cause bitch, I'm drunk. Drunk and a motherfucker swerving. I hit my brothers up like what it's in for. They saying 616 is what the word is. Well, bitch is going down if it didn't know. Now. A, you can hear on 616 if you listen as a semi knowledgeable hip hop fan yeah. that your flow on that sounds similar to Drake's flow on Started with the Bottom. Yeah. So it begs the question of whether or not you wrote Started from the Bottom and whatever you know you're comfortable answering, uh -huh. and or just simply whether you think that you've influenced Drake's music in working closely with him. Yeah, I mean. No, I didn't write a lick of Started From The Bottom. When I heard it, I was like, damn, that sounds like a whole new Drake, you know? It was crazy hearing that. But um, 616, like, what I did in the, in the song, like, on what I took from Drake was the uh, part on Worst Behavior when in the beginning was like, worse, you know what I mean? Like, just that cadence, you know what I mean? And then I took that, and then I took, uh, you know, Yo Gotti got that sack, mm -hmm. that flow. If you listen to that song and then listen to 616, like the the syllables is, are the same way because I love that song. Like when I'm in trap mode or whatever, <laughs> that was just what I wanted to do. For and that's what I did. I just merged the two and I just made that flow and the flow stuck. But they they're gonna say like, oh, you sound like Drake, but it's just a Drake cadence. You know what I mean? So it wasn't necessarily that. So but, on YouTube it says there's a version. There's a Mike Zombie started from the bottom. Mm -hmm. But th is that a version you made after? Yeah, after. I, it was like a freestyle, like. If I was a rap on They Don't Love You No More, like right now. Right, 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 yeah. right. But you made it, but it's similar. You made it, you didn't change it that much. No. You just altered it. It's almost like, um, it was like a remix that like Consequence did to a Tribe record I remember on a B-side way back in the day where he just rapped on the same beat. It was just yeah. like a freestyle joint. Um, So what is the working relationship like now with OVO? Like do you, is there more stuff coming? What's the situation? Um, Yeah, I mean, they're always working. We're always working. Um. I got a lot of stuff coming. I actually have some more stuff coming with Khaled. Um, you did They Don't Love You No More? Yeah. Wow. Shout out to Khaled. I love that dude. He's 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 He's, he's crazy. crazy. Yeah. He's, a, he's, a, he's an amazing individual. Yeah. Always oh, shows love. Um, and he did he just hear Started From The Bottom and was like, yo, who is this guy? Or did um, Drake bring you to him? Well, you know they're in cahoots with Khaled and Drake doing uh, No New Friends and this, that, and the third. So... He uh, got in contact with my people, and then we just made it happen. He actually called me, and he was like, um, he's like, yo, zombie, I, I need something. You know how Khaled goes into Khaled mode. I need that. I need that that one. You know that one where he was like, uh, I want I, I want something that's going to part the Red Sea. Like, I want, I need Moses to come back. So when I actually made that beat, it was called Moses. Like, it was Moses.mp3, and I sent it to him <laughs> or whatever. So it was dope. So that's how that came about. So you're sort of living the dream right now. Basically. It's pretty crazy. Or now, do you plan on putting out an album, a, a, an album with you rapping as well? Like, it, are they supportive of? And w do you anticipate that OVO would want you to drop a producer MC album, a la Kanye, or anything like that? Yeah, they're definitely supportive of my artist stuff. I um, what I think I went wrong at was when I did have to sit down about it at the time. I don't think I was ready for it, and he had asked me out of his own mouth. He said, "What do you want to do with the rap?" And I was like, "Right now, I just want to focus on the producing." So. Um, and right, I, I like to earn, earn things on my own. I don't want people to say like, oh, he's only popping because Drake 
you know, give him the cosign or whatever, anything like that. So but I actually, can, it's not really moving that way. I mean, yeah. honestly, like, it feels like organic right now. It yeah. feels like they gave you the, the in and they're getting you the credits, but you're working on your own yeah. for your own music. I'm grateful for the opportunity more than anything. So, um, how, how how nice were the checks off that started from the bottom? Felt pretty good. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're fresh. You're clean. I came here in a new car. You came with the cars. The cars crispy. 2014. Yeah. yeah. No, that's nice. Yeah. Um, what is it like to produce something that's such an anthem? You know, that's such a major song. Like you're in the club. Like, don't lie to me. You've said to a girl before. You know what? You know how it goes zombie from the track? That's me. I'm, I'm zombie on the track. It would, it would be one of my friends that would say it for me. I'm, I'm, I'm a humble guy. Um, but it has to be satisfying when you're in the club and you hear that song and you see people react. Yeah, it's crazy. I got one of my like one of my tweets favorite on Twitter. Is, it, the tweet says, um, I can't wait for the day that I'm in the club and I hear my own music. I said, I, Or the tweet went something like, I'm not going to go to the club until I hear my own stuff in there. And I actually did that, so that's crazy. And you actually, that, that's that's crazy. Yeah, it's nice to take a moment. And you're what? You're 23 now. 22. 22. So yeah. to take that moment and 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 take it in and really appreciate it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you never know what's gonna happen in this game, and that's an amazing start. I gotta tell you though, your voice quality, your rhymes, the beats. I mean, there's a lot going on here. Now with OVO, does that still allow you as an artist to sign a deal with a label that you would want to? Yeah, it's kind of like um, is it kind of like management? I was just talking about that with like how Travis Scott is. He signed to uh, Kanye Good Beats for uh, production, and then he signed to uh, Ti as an artist. So. So you could still go get a, an album deal where you want, mm -hmm. and they would just be involved in it, et cetera, but you can still move around. Yeah. But as a production, as a producer, they manage you. Yeah. They oversee you like the way Rock Nation oversees Mustard. Yeah. All right, now, what do you use, by the way? What's your beat machine of choice? FL Studio to the death. So that's a that's a, that's computer joint. Yeah. It's not, you're not on an MP. I get busy in, in, in Pro Tools and, and Reason and other stuff. Whoever I'm working with, you know what I mean? I but you don't like have a machine. You don't have an actual... I just use a keyboard. You just use a keyboard anything. into the... Uh, and my voice sometimes. What do you mean? You sample your own voice? Yeah. What is the starter from the bottom sample? Um, Yo, that's... Uh, it's called ambient music. And it's uh something I used to li listen to when I used to do my college homework. It's like real chill. Like it's hardly any sounds. It's kind of And wait, weird. and you got it on like a random... You sampled it off of like a random ambient music CD? YouTube. Wow. Yeah, if you you can actually go to the videos. Bruno Sampolifo... Uh, so he got paid He got his amb check Yeah ambience and drones And you can just see it It's crazy <laughs> When I uh, you can see, I left the comment still there And I was like Yo this song's gonna change my life And I left it there Somebody was like Don't do nothing crazy Like I was gonna kill myself Or something like that so, <laughs> But You commented on the YouTube yeah, Of it was, the ambience it was way back Like the comment is probably like Two years Wait, old Wait hold on Oh I don't have internet in here Damn it it's So bootleg I wanted to play it right now yeah. Um. Okay let's do this though You wanna Do you wanna do uh, You wanna do the raps You wanna yes. try the raps Yes I mean you're at Hot 97 First time ever Yeah And you rap You don't just produce So you kinda gotta, gotta let people know show them You kinda gotta show them Prove a little bit They think this is games They think it's games They think it's games They think 609 is games out there That's what they're saying Basically Essentially Mike Zombie Real late Hot 97 My name's Peter Rosenberg Jersey stand up Uh Yeah 609, Mike Zahn Check, check, ch check It seemed like every single day It's something in the way My mama lost her job and bills need to get paid My brother locked up Tony done lost his case and since my grandmother died Christmas really ain't the same And now I'm thinking to myself like shit, nothing really the same All my niggas just growed up and went they separate ways I ain't even the same, loving who I became Really hate when I'm missing the weekend, it's just three days I'm trying to find a plan, a million dollar scheme To put Sydney in them hills because Burrow wasn't the dream Been a year since I seen my brother Ma up in face It's big, bigger than me, man, I'm just trying to be great Ace of Kai made me great, my mama made me great She taught me how to be a man when daddy wouldn't stay it's no love lost, wasn't none, no way Shit, none of us had a daddy, but look, we okay It's hard to stay optimistic with negative 90% of niggas and bitches around me with no intent to get it But me, I got a vision, me, I got ambition I don't need Wale to tell me cause he ain't gonna help me get it I'm on the grind every day, school beats, wordplay, no sleep College student trying to beat Sally Mae Gotta make 90k for a nigga graduate Life is a bucking bitch, but every dog has his day Mine's is now, at least that's what it seems like I'm trying to make Make sure my motherfucking team right Famous success, imagine it, what it feels like But y'all don't even feel, Mike So I'ma have to reiterate Hating niggas won't irritate Niggas think I'm just bitten But missing pictures I'm trying to paint Uh, gotta give him some more? 
I mean, you, listen, hey. Mike Zombie, ladies and gentlemen, Jersey. Hey. You want something else? You want to keep going on this? Um, what else we got? All right, let's try this. Let's try this out. I love this beat. Mike Zombie is here. Shout out to Swizzy. Ah, that's my beat, yo. <laughs> really hot 97. My name's Peter Rosenberg. Yeah, 609, stand up. Shout out to Will. Ho 609. Zombie on the track. Uh, uh, uh. If my nigga don't fuck with you, I don't fuck with you either I'm that nigga, you got a problem, address it when you see him You talking about this and that, I can't wait until I see you Never mind, I'm too busy with getting busy with your being Been a year, goddamn, and niggas still hating 550 One call, it could get your life taken, no more games Niggas isn't living what they portraying, for real, dog. I'm well known, nigga, I'm not famous, fucking right Zombie is with the bullshit tonight Raw dog, eating pussy, the type of shit I like Middle fingers in the air, screaming, fuck the other side What am I, Grammy not Nominated than living life, why don't I collaborate with niggas? I tell you why. Industry too focused on production, like I don't write. That's alright, you niggas will get the picture. Little time, whoa, nigga, please fall back. You know, all this shit is mine, uh. CO, <sighs> I'm out here and I really do this, man. Stop uh, playing with me. And by the way, congratulations on that Grammy nomination for starting from the bottom. That's pretty sweet. Thank you. I wish I had done that by the time I was 22 years old. <laughs> Mike Zombie, all right, out the 609 Jersey. We're going to be playing your music. Um, you can get the mixtape right now. You have a new mixtape coming soon, too, as, yes, as well, right? Is, you got to drop the beat for this. This is exclusive Peter Rosenberg. All right, here stuff. we go. Scoop. This is a Peter Rosenberg scoop. Here we go. The new project is coming this year. It is entitled Rebel Without a Cause. Same thing. It's going to be crazy. I'm talking crazy like I just was, man. It's about to get crazy, <laughs> man. You're producing the whole thing? Of course. Producing, MCing the whole nine. Yes. Yo, you just got to start um, DJing, uh, break dancing, and doing graffiti, and you'll have the, all I the can elements. Dance. You can, can dance? Yeah, I can dance. Break dance? No, you spin on you spin dance. on your head? Nah. I'm all right, we're gonna get, you need like a piece of cardboard. You need to be like out in the street doing every all the elements. Old school. I could pop lock. <laughs> um, ladies and gentlemen, his name is Mike Zombie, man. We wish you the best. I'm excited you came up here. I'm excited to support. We need another great New York producer MC. Yes. I'm excited to see it happen, man. Yeah, appreciate it. Shout out to Drizzy. Shout out to the whole OVO. Appreciate you, bro. Already.